Hey, what's up there, guys? It's Shopping Rock 8, and I just want to do a um, quick tutorial today on how to clone Pokemon. I've been getting a lot of questions on how you clone Pokemon, and this is a great um, video to reference to if you want to clone very, very rare Pokemon to trade for other very rare Pokemon to uh, max out your Pokédex with these rare Pokemon. And it's also useful for um, cloning items. Uh, right here, I actually have a um, flawless shiny furrow seed with its eggs moves and uh, I already had cloned it you can see it over here vaguely on this 3DS um, and I cloned a master ball as well so I'm going to be showing you today how to clone your Pokemon and we're going to be cloning a um, shiny 6 IV flawless Shroomish. So we're going to get right into that and um, what you're going to need is you're going to need two 3DS's and you're going to need some form of a stopwatch. I'm going to use my iPhone today. So what you're going to do is we have the Pokemon that we want to clone on this 3DS. So the Pokemon that we're going to not care about and is going to get deleted all the way is going to be on this 3DS. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to initiate the trade with this 3DS and I'm going to accept it on this one and I have music playing out of this 3DS and you need to play the music out of the 3DS for the Pokemon that you're going to be cloning because we're going to be listening to an audio cue when it switches to the blue screen it's actually going to pause the music so we're going to listen to that in order to st uh, start our stopwatch we're going to use that as a reference so I'm going to initiate the trade with the 3DS with the Pokemon on it that we're going to be deleting Close the door here for a second. I'm going to accept the trade. Alright, we're going to bring this up, and what you're going to do is you're actually going to, uh, when you trade, and it and at that blue screen comes up, you're going to start the stopwatch, you're going to wait for 4.5 seconds, and we're going to bring up the Pokemon that we're going to be uh, cloning, and uh, you already see I cloned it already, but I'm going to do it again as a reference, so I'm going to trade over a Lickitung, because I really don't care about Lickitung. So we're going to bring these two Pokemon up, and we're going to initiate the trade, and in just a second I'm going to shut up here, but like I was saying before, this 3DS has audio playing out of it, it's very important because uh, when it switches over to the blue screen after the trade is complete, it's going to pause the music and it's a great cue to have in order to know when you're going to start this stopwatch. You're going to wait 4.5 seconds and we're going to do that in just a moment and see if we can get on the first try. Music stopped. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're right around about 28 to 32 seconds. Uh, we're going to watch the stop clock. This should come up with a black screen and it should say it uh, received a connection error. If it doesn't show up with a black screen and it doesn't say connection error around 28 to 32 seconds, the cloning process usually did not work. But like I said, again, it's going to take you a while to get the timing down perfectly. It is all trial and error, guys. Um, we're going to see here okay so right around 32 seconds probably was exactly two th 32 seconds uh, this came up with a connection error it is a black screen here so what we're gonna do is in order to save you some time we're gonna hold down the power button it's gonna come up with the screen and we're gonna hit both of the home screens at the same time and we're gonna see if this clone did work so we're gonna bring both of these games up here all right come on come on And let's see if it did work. And we should not have a Lickitung on the 3DS to the right. And we do not. There you have it. On the first try for this clone, we have now two Shroomish. And uh, when I was cloning the Shroomish, I cloned a Lucky Egg as well. So let me get a close-up for uh, the Shroomish here. Let's see, zoom out just a little bit here. And as you can see, we do have it on both of the 3DS's. There you have it. 